today I'm playing golf with big balls. <laughs> yeah, I can hear you chuckling, but let me explain. So Callaway have brought out this bigger golf ball and it's noticeably bigger than a normal standard Pro V1, let's say. Now it's designed to be more consistent and easier to hit up in the air, especially for slower swing speeds. Now granted, I'm not a slow swing speed, I swing it quite fast, but I thought I'd have a little bit of fun with this. So today I'm gonna to play golf and see how it performs. I've got a par three to start, a drivable par four where there might be an eagle chance, and then a really gettable par five and then finish off with one more chance with a holding one on the next par three. We might also chop it in half. It wouldn't be a Rick Shields review if not. I'm very interested to try this golf ball. I'm intrigued to see how it feels, how it flies, how it, how it kind of performs. And also, I want to see what it's like putting with. Because again, you think a bigger ball is going to be harder to get in the hole. Is that going to be the case? So price-wise, they're £20 per dozen. I'm intrigued to give them a try and to see if maybe they do work, whether they do launch higher, easier to hit. Let's find out and let's play golf with some big balls. There's a science behind it. Because the ball is bigger, it's easier to get the club underneath the equator line of the ball. Therefore, it's easier to launch up in the air. That's the science. Let's see if that's the case. First though, we've got is a par three, slightly up the hill. It is bizarre. Like even just holding it in my hand because I'm so used to a normal size golf ball. It does feel bigger even just to touch. Let's see what it looks like behind and the club behind it. Wow. Now I've got you know, fairly cavity backed irons. I feel if I was using a real blade, like a really thin blade, that ball would almost look like it was too big to fit on the club face. But that is noticeably bigger. Right, first shot. Let's see how this flies. Let's see how it performs. Oh, that felt good. Is it going to get there? It might just be short left. Felt brilliant. Flight, maybe slightly higher than normal. Not bad, not a bad start. Okay, first shot, I actually got the distance pretty spot on. So I don't feel like that went any shorter than normal, but I have found the beach. I wonder if it's gonna be easier out the sand. You know, you can almost slide the club underneath the ball. I mean, treat to see how it's gonna land and react and stop. Just interest me. Quite a bit of slope on this, I'm gonna have to go slightly left of the flag. Oh, Rick. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't easier to get underneath it. Right, I'm going to have another go at that. I don't know whether it was me overthinking it, thinking that the ball was so much bigger, I didn't need to do anything, or whether it was just a bad strike, but I've got to have another go at that one. Oh, that's nicer. <laughs> one thing so far, on the couple of shots I've hit, softness is incredible. I mean, this is a Mac Super Soft but it does feel super soft off the face. All right, guys, you're gonna let me off with the first one right out of the bunker. I'm gonna go with the one on the green, the putting one. That's the beauty of not recording my score on this little video. Right, this is where it's, it's gonna get interesting because certainly at the moment, with flags needing to stay in, I don't know if there's gonna be enough room in the cup for it to fit. I'm sure there is, but that's how it rolls. Oh, ho, 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 right on the edge. Feels good again. Just go and look at this as well, coming close. Like once it goes in, I almost feel like it's gonna get sandwiched against the flag. Yeah, I mean, look at that. There is, there is next to no room from the edge of the cup to the middle of the flag. I mean, that is literally flush. Wonder if that's gonna have a bit of a havoc if you like rattle the flag. I wonder if it will bounce out a bit more or do you think there might even be more surface area that would almost topple inwards? It's interesting, I'm not quite sure. So it feels like if it's a bigger surface, it might almost catch the edge a bit more. Mm. All right, so this next hole is normally drivable. So I'm gonna hit a few from this tee and see how many times it takes me before I hit the green. Then the next hole is a very gettable par five. I'm going to play out on the jit, just with one ball and see if I can actually make an eagle. And then the last hole we're going to play in this video is a par three, one of my favourite par threes. I've had some close opportunities for holding ones. I might just hit all 12 and see how close we can actually get, see if we can box one. 
Maybe the furthest one we'll chop in half just to see what's inside it. Right, let's go with this one first. Like I say, normally I'm getting in and around this green. It's about 290 to 300 yards from this tee. So I'll hit driver and see if these max size golf balls can still fly and help me land it on this green. Okay, that's mad. I've said it on the first hole, I did, and I'll say it again, certainly with driver. It's big, <laughs> like it looks noticeably bigger behind with the driver. Right, let's go for this green. Well, that's not a bad hit. Oh, that's close. This can get on the green from here, definitely. Let's have another go. And just a quick one, I didn't mention before, these balls are conforming, so they are legal to use. When you talk about consistency, those two shots are right next to each other. Apart from that one, hit the path and probably went 50 yards further. <laughs> Very similar shot again. So that's three of them that have all gone the right distance, but slightly pulled left. Once that's ball, I think that's more on me. Three attempts, three fails at the moment, but there's potential definitely. I'm gonna go three more, I'm gonna take it serious. I've gotta knock one of these on the green. Oh, get on the flag. Be good ball. Oh yes, that's right on the fringe. I'm just gonna finish these last two just to be certain we can get one on the green. Stay there, ball. That is, oh, that's landed on the green, but I actually ran through. We've got one more to try and keep it on the green. Oh, it's to the right. That's a good hit as well. You know what? As much as I don't think we've got one putting on the green, six shots there that I'd be very pleased with in any situation. Two things I noticed. I do think it goes a little bit higher than my normal golf ball. And also it's a little bit louder. Like when it comes off the head, it's a bit more of a crack. Okay, par five. And obviously I'm gonna go for an eagle here. Smash a drive, knock it on in two and hopefully hold the port. But if I don't make eagle, I'll be happy with birdie obviously as well. Let's, uh, let's try and get a good drive away and see how it goes from there. Oh, it's a good start. Yeah, I've ripped that. Oh, that's annoying. I've missed the fairway to the left and I can't find it even though the ball is bigger. I've lost it. That's really frustrating. So the eagle has gone out the window just for the sake of it. I'm just going to throw one down, see if I can crack one on the green from here anyway. It means that I've only got 11 balls for the next hole, for the next challenge. Mm, short, I think. Okay, disappointed we didn't make the eagle, obviously, but what I want to try and do here, just before we go on to the next par three, is just get a feel for what these are like to put with. As I mentioned on that first green, just with them being bigger, are they actually harder to get in the hole, or do they lip in more often? Let's hit a few of these and figure it out. Oh, you've got to hit it. Hmm, lipped out. <laughs> Feels like you've got to hit them harder. I don't know whether the ball does more rotations or something. I don't know whether it's in my head, I wouldn't massively feel comfortable putting with that. It does, I don't, again, it's that idea because it is a bigger golf ball. It just feels like it's not gonna have a better chance of going in the hole. It's just my take on it. We've got 11 balls left. And I, I must admit, I think I like a round number. So before we do the hole in one challenge, I'm going to chop one of these in half. Now one of them hit the path earlier and got a bit damaged. I think it was that one. So let's chop this one in half, see what's inside it just for the fun of it. I don't think I'm going to expect much. Oh, it only just fits in my ball cutter actually. One thing about this golf ball, it's got to be said, the cover is outrageously soft. I think I need a new ball cutter. It's so soft when I've hit the wedges the iron shots and the putter you can really feel it inside hey listen it's a two-piece golf ball we're not going to see a lot i didn't expect it to be a blush pink though that's that one out of the way let's go 10 holding one on this par three it's probably playing about 140 yards today now granted unless it goes in on the very first shot it's not a legitimate holding one i get that but still it'd be fun to see if we can box one on camera uh i think it's going to be 9-9 or wedge, I've not decided just yet. Okay, so I'm gonna hit pitching wedge. And like I say, this is the one 
that's legit. If this one drops, this is legit hole in one. Oh, be good. Oh, it's a little bit long. Whoa! That came out really hot. Higher ball flight than I expected. And it's actually weirdly gone further. I'm gonna go one club less now after seeing that. Okay, club change. I'm gonna go gap wedge now. It's the right club. Oh, I don't think I'm going to get any closer than that. Well, we've got a benchmark. If we get inside that, I think it's in. Yeah, not as good. Okay, six more to go. Bounce straight. That's it. Oh, be good. It's online. Oh, it's a bit big. Or a bit thin. Might still work though. Spin. Not the best, but I wouldn't be disappointed with that one. So bar the first one, which if I'm honest, I hit unexpectedly far. Eight of them on the green. One of them is outrageously close. We've got one more chance. Um, this ball's quite different. The more I've hit them, the more I've kind of got used to the size and weirdly don't look as big as they did when we first started this video. There might be some truth in the fact it launches higher. I do definitely notice a slightly higher ball flight today with this golf ball. But there's two things I've noticed. First off, how soft it is. That's more the cover than anything. It's super outrageously soft. And two, for me, as I'm putting on that last green, just for whatever reason, just because of the size of it, it does give me less confidence when putting. I just couldn't imagine standing over that putt thinking it's gonna have a better chance of going in the hole. That's just what I thought as well. Right, last one. And then we'll have a quick wander down to see how close that one actually is. But let's finish on a really strong one. I've got my distance, I know my line. Cut. Ah, it's a little bit left. Oh, trust me to miss the green on the last one. <laughs> Let's go have a look down there anyway. So as we walk up to this green, I'll obviously repair all the pitch marks in a moment. But this one that is close is outrageously close. Look at this. <laughs> a lot of them are pretty good though. Fairly scattered around, but this is the third one that I hit. It is a putter, just widen the putter away from the hole. That's playing with big balls. Only just goes in. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>